Well, last week we told you about the GoFly competition for a personal flying machine. This week, we'll take a look at the technology which could make a motorcycle-like vertical takeoff machine possible. And believe it or not, that technology begins right here in your smartphone. The technology that tells your smartphone which way is north how to center the bubble, or for that matter, counts your steps, will also be the key to making some of these contraptions actually fly under control. People have been dreaming about this forever, but all the technology is finally up to par. Now the Dragon Air hoverboard has actually flown, and if you think it looks a lot like a big drone, well, it does, in part because the technology that keeps it upright is essentially the same as that in a little drone. This control, particular control system is pretty common for multi-rotors and quadcopters. And all of those little micro-electromechanical gyros and accelerometers in those control systems are plentiful and cheap because of smartphones. Without the smartphone industry, it would have been harder for us to use these components. The components would be much larger, much heavier, but since everyone wants the smallest phone, thin, thinner, flatter, uh, it's kind of it's kind of an offshoot which helped help this uh, this this project this industry. So how do all of these little gizmos keep the shiny side up? We've taken this uh, cascaded PID loop structure, which is very powerful. Given there are only a few parameters you actually have to tweak, and I've implemented it on our flight controller here, and uh, like I said, it works pretty well. Okay, now dumb it down for the rest of us. Our aircraft is measuring or determining the, the attitude of the vehicle and when the vehicle is kind of perturbed a little bit one way or the other, uh, the system measures that error and it takes that error and it tries to determine what amount of control input will bring it back to level. So it's really just error correction. So this PID loop structure is just saying, what is my error? Where do I want to be? How do I get back there? Now there is other technology that may make it into the real world from the GoFly competition. The Aria uses coaxial rotors, each blade controlled by the sensors out of the smartphone world. This is actually a, an electronically decoupled coaxial system. So we've got uh, the same system on the top and the bottom and they're not mechanically linked. And so what that allows us to do is simplify the design so we have a lot of redundant parts and it really brings down the high maintenance costs typically associated with helicopters. And much quieter than a helicopter or a quadcopter. The difference between say a bee and a bird. The Texas A&M team thinks moving the rotors overhead could lead to small machines that could transport first responders into tight areas. Generate more resources and use GoFly as a springboard to develop further prototypes and eventually get this to, to market. Warren Morningstar, AOPA Live.